There are many ways to awaken your Kundalini. And to use Kundalini activation energy is one of the ways. Connect to my energy. It's your first time that you've ever seen one of my videos. Check out the other videos because I give you little bits of information in every video. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is the Awakened Energy. I'm Skeed. Remember to leave a comment about your experience or what you felt. Kundalini Awakening. If you wish to awaken your Kundalini, then the first thing you have to do is learn. There are many books out there talking about this. There are many ways to do it. Go and read the Kundalini Sutra, for example. And just get informed generally. Be careful of social media. Be careful of people talking about it. But make sure the stuff they talk about adds up. And it's not the type of thing you Oh, well, this is easy, everybody can do it, and, well, yes, everybody can do it, and yes, it doesn't have to be complicated, but... And also, I'm going to start now looking at how to awaken our Kundalini. Obviously, if you wish to awaken your Kundalini with this energy, this is one of the many ways. Kriya Yoga, Kundalini Yoga, there are other ways. There are mantras, you can even use Transcendental Meditation to do it. Nupasana meditation can get you through many ways to get there. But if you wish to do it, the first thing you have to understand it is your responsibility. Any effects that happen, it's your responsibility. It does rarely happen, occasionally, of people having a Kundalini awakening experience. You can find videos online of people talking about it. Some will be fake just to get views and know how bad it was, and others will be real. And one of the ways many people have these Kundalini awakening experiences is after doing drugs or plant medicine. And they might not include that when they say it's been awakened, so just bear that in mind. You don't need that. And then other people will tell you, well, with Kundalini activation energy, your Kundalini will rise by itself. Well, I suppose it's possible, anything's possible. But really, without an active intention of moving the energy, it's not actually going to awaken by itself. Kundalini activation energy. This Shakti Bad energy that I'm sending you can help to open the system, balance the system, release the layers, get you ready by itself. Although, if you do work releasing negativity with this energy by focusing on points, on blocks, and channeling the energy there, not only is that a good practice just to release energy. It's a good practice for when you wish to awaken your Kundalini. Because once we've got our chakras balanced, once we've got used to this energy, once we've been through the stages of lots of movement and spontaneous kriyas and everything's calmed down, now, perhaps you might still go into a sanas and things like that, but very gently and very smoothly in a controlled fashion. Then we can start to think about awakening the Kundalini. As I said, I'm going to tell you this information to use this energy, if you wish, under your own responsibility that you've done all the research you need to do. You've peeled back the layers of ego, you've peeled back the fear. Your energy is flowing smoothly. So what you wish to do, if 
you wish to try this. Now there's no guarantee this is gonna work for you. You might find the vast majority of people it doesn't happen this easily because this is an online video. Online videos do transmit the energy. It can be powerful. It's not obviously nearly as powerful as doing it live. That can be online live or that can be in person live. So the best is in person. But online live also works very well. I've done online sessions that have been way more powerful than live sessions in person. But we have to remember to awaken the Kundalini, it is not a passive thing. So if you go to a session and they say, lie down, I send you the energy and that's it. Okay, you can have a wonderful time. And if you know that during that time you need to be clearing and working on negativity, and these people aren't pulling you apart energetically and moving their hands frantically and doing those things to you, because oh, you just got to be careful with that type of thing. If they say they, if they do that to you, you just have to ask them if they know what they're doing and why they're doing it. Quite a few people that, oh, I'm just following what the energy tells me. That's fine. But that's not an answer. Because like it gets very, very complicated. I'm not going to go into all the whys and hows here. But if you wish, if you've got to this stage, Perhaps you've been to a couple of sessions, live, you peel back the layers and everything. And what you can do is take this energy and just focus it on your first chakra. And you can cycle it around your micro orbit. If you don't know what your micro orbit is, you're probably not ready to awaken your Kundalini. You don't have enough knowledge to do it by yourself. So if you don't know what the micro orbit is, then do more research. Do this with somebody. Online sessions or private sessions or live sessions. But if you do, then start cycling this energy around your micro, micro orbit. And then you can let the energy start to build in your first chakra. And then you'll get to a stage where you can pull it up your spine. This is active. You're just sitting there receiving this energy. It's like, oh, well, I can feel the energy. No, you've got to channel the energy and put it in the right place. And then start to bring it up. Your shushumna. Without forcing it and let it go. I said, if you don't know what your micro orbit is, just don't. That's not responsible. That's not being responsible. Go and do more research. Go and do more work. With that said, we're talking about an advanced practice. That doesn't mean to say you can't use this energy every day to connect to the spiritual energy to peel back the layers, to get you ready, to de-armor. Use this energy as it, when, when you're focusing this energy on a block in your body, if you notice in your body, or physical body or energy body, and you focus this energy on those points, that is a form of de-armoring, of releasing blocks. So you can use this energy to do all of that work. And when you realize that you're at a point that your life has changed, and you are becoming a different person. And you've realized many things. And perhaps you become far more intuitive already. You're having far more dreams, 
better dream recall, you're more relaxed, stress doesn't affect you as much. When all these things start to happen, and only then can you start thinking about using this energy to awaken your Kundalini. I've given you a few little tips here of how to do it. Of course, as I said, I'm not going to give you all the information here because you have to be responsible. You have to go do the research if that's what you want to do. Kundalini awakening. There are many people that say it's dangerous, it's not safe, it's... Blah, blah, blah. If you go about it correctly and you know what you're doing, there's absolutely no reason it doesn't have to be a safe practice. Obviously, crossing the road is a dangerous thing to do. As long as you know to look left and look right, or look right and look left, depending on the country you live in, and listen and look for cars and things coming. And then you find a zebra crossing, a pedestrian crossing. You cross at that point. It doesn't have to be a dangerous thing at all. So you have to use that same idea. You have to get the knowledge. You have to know what to look out for, the warning signs. Understand the dark night of the soul. Be able to ride the ups and the downs smoothly. Connect to the positivity. Identify if you talk negatively because as you do this manifestation becomes more powerful the law of attraction but of course if you have a negative mindset and you're as negative or you turn good events negative or whatever that's only going to amplify so you have to fix all these things first and a lot of people who have these spontaneous awakenings the real ones You've got too much ego, too much fear, or a negative mindset, and normally a mixture of both. I hope that's helped you start to figure out whether you want to do it, or you don't want to do it, how to do it, and the best ways to find someone to help you when you're there. And just prepare yourself with this energy. Namaste.